Welcome to Boots in Baltimore. I'm Leanne Blanchard. I'm here with Joseph Burshad, who's part of Reroot Functional Nutrition. So what exactly is functional nutrition? Yeah, hi, Leanne. Um, thanks for having me here. Really excited to take part on, on this interview and having the ability to talk about my business. So functional nutrition, more or less, I'm, it's functional nutrition coaching, um, but I'm not a medical professional. Um, what functional nutrition coaching is, is a holistic approach to working um, myself as the coach with a client to think about what's been going on with them, ideally if they have chronic health issues um, that they've kind of been challenged with themselves and working with other health professionals to help figure out what's been going on. So the functional approach is really looking in, diving deeper into um, their health conditions from like an in-depth um, overview of their history and trying to ident identify their root cause or their why and more or less what the functional approach is is identifying the, the root cause or the why but then applying it where between nutrition and other lifestyle factors exercise the right movement um, getting the right hydration um, stress management optimizing your sleep putting all, the, all, the, all those together, it kind of just brings a person's um, life back to a pole and they're able to enjoy themselves the way they used to and ideally not have to worry about their health issues anymore. That's wonderful. So how is this approach different than consulting with a traditional dietitian? Yeah, great question. So I, I mean, a normal dietitian would say more or less focuses solely on um, the diet and sort of like what and how they're eating and kind of works with people with specific problems and then it works to implement the change to the diet. Um, as I shared a moment ago, it's really looking about more of this holistic approach of nutrition is a big part of what I do, but again, through the other lifestyle factors that are, that are involved, um, it's really working to optimize people. Well, the most important thing is reducing stress because in today's world, that's unfortunately <laughs> everybody has it. And there's just so much research linked to stress causing um, more or less inflammation, which leads to disease. So it's really just looking at managing stress, getting you to sleep well, um, getting your hydration optimal, getting a good sense of community and connection with people. Um, it's all tied together. It's sort of like we're connected from the head to the toe. <laughs> Everything inside is connected, so you have to look at it as um, an approach of it's not just food. It's all those other factors together that when we combine them together, we're able to allow the client to thrive and get back in, 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 um, in, and engage in life and really enjoy themselves to the fullest. So way more than a meal plan. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, speaking of which, you actually offer a lot of different services. So tell me a little bit more about the cleanouts, the tours, and the other kinds of things. Right. So just trying to look at it, it's not just, again, the diet and the lifestyle approach. It's really trying to understand how and what you can do it to make this actually achievable and have it make it be fun and enjoyable. So um, the three different things that I offer, it's looking at going to a supermarket and really trying to demystify the the, the craziness of the labels and really what's good for you and what's bad for you, where really the main thing is looking about, you know, teaching shop the perimeter of the supermarket. So where really all the fresh real food is versus the center aisles as to where you have a lot of the, the processed food, the chips, the cookies, um, the overly processed things, things that have ingredients that you can't pronounce, um, <laughs> which are just detrimental to our health. So it's really just kind of teaching strategies about, you know how to read a label, how to know what to what look for for what's in season, how to look for diversity in your food, and really just understanding the right way to shop to be able to um, support your health and your wellness. So and really hands-on approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about the cleanouts? Yeah, so the cleanouts is kind of the same thing. So you're looking to um, I, I work to like educate my clients as to you know what are the right foods to eat, what are the wrong foods to eat, and then share um, uh, recipes. I'm a formerly trained chef um, and a product developer, so I really know food like the back of my hand <laughs> right here. Um, so it's really kind of getting to the point of like, you really need to know, um, ideally you want to just have what the right, um, the, the right tools in your kitchen to be able to execute and make the right recipes that I would share with you to be able to um, have it 
be enjoyable and fun. And it's you're not chasing over here to get a bowl and over here to get a spatula. It's everything really is in a, a like a logical manner that it makes sense. And really just the, the clean out would be looking at your, your pantry, your fridge, your freezer, and trying to look at what foods really are good for you, which ones are bad for you. And then ideally the same as the supermarket tour, look at the things that are bad for you and give you like healthy um, alternatives or replacements. So you can still enjoy something of that nature, but in a different way. So like rearranging your environment to make it support your success. Correct. I love it. Okay. So when you first start working with clients, what are their main struggles? Usually it's sort of like most people don't really realize there's something wrong with them. Like in terms of <laughs> saying they have like a major health issue, they just sort of have like signs and symptoms that really relate to what could be wrong with them. What I see most frequently, it's people that have cognitive issues. So it's like brain fog, memory issues, um, uh, digestive issues where oh, they have gas, thing. they have bloating, um, they have problems with either constipation or diarrhea, all those fun things. Um, and then a lot of it is really rooted into also chronic pain. So there's just people that have worked through physical therapist, acupuncturist, um, chiropractors, you name it, and it's just not working. Um, really all those. And that's all food related? It, it does it. For, I would say for the majority of the time, most things when people today, because of the, the unfortunately, the poor, poor quality of the standard American diet of eating highly processed foods, refined seed oils, um, artificial ingredients, it's basically has created what is like chronic inflammation. So inflammation in itself is a good thing. That's what you want your body to respond to. You just don't want it turned on all the time. When you have chronic inflammation, those signs and symptoms are usually, the, that's kind of like, it's not the root. That's what's sort of like the manifestations that they would see on the outside. Got it. So how do you improve your client's relationship with food? Yeah, so it's really it's going back to the same scenario, really looking at um, trying to make it, kind of demystify food. There's so many diets out there between <laughs> keto, vegan, paleo. I mean, there's it, those things work for certain people. The idea is really not to put so many restrictions on people that you're kind of like, you get stuck, you, you go out and you do the diet, it works for two weeks, you lose some weight, something happens, life happens, you go off, and then you kind of like, can't get back on. So when you put so much restriction on the food and how you eat the food, that's really why I, I would say most diets fail and why a lot of people go on yo-yo diets. So my approach to food is really looking at um, giving a lot of like diversity as to what, what and how you're eating. Um, so it's really just the only thing we're really not, we're not like restricting, we're trying to say to try to reduce or remove the foods that are bad for you. So anything really highly overly processed foods, um, things that are like purposely made to be low fat, um, things that don't have high quality nutrition in them between protein, fats, carbohydrates, um, the whatnots within it. Um, it's really just trying to like educate the client to really know what's right, what's wrong, and then focus on what's right. And then my, um, my functional nutrition and wellness program that I teach basically goes very in depth into, um, explaining how and how and what to do it. It's, it sounds complicated. It really isn't. It's really a simple approach to food. Um, it's just rethinking it and really just being uh, mindful uh, about how to, how to eat and know when and how certain things happen. If you have certain like cravings, to know what those cravings <laughs> mean and how can we work, work with the client to, to get through it. Well, I like that. I like the idea that you are kind of reintroducing people to what food could be, kind of the joy of food, real food, not mm -hmm. just convenience food right. that's adequate, but not great. Right. I like that. So do you have any success stories you want to share? Yeah. I mean, I think what I've really seen that's been the most exciting part of working with my clients is the people that have come in. I, I've had several, a couple of clients really come in that either have been like diabetics or folks that have had um, high blood pressure that they've, um, chronically been having problems to figure out how to resolve that, which is another one of the things why they came to work with me. And by working with me and completing my functional nutrition and wellness program, they were able to work with their doctors 
Um, and basically the doctor was able to see their signs of blood pressure by working with me and following the program between the nutrition and the lifestyle changes. Um, they're able to reduce their blood pressure where they no longer needed the blood pressure medicine uh -huh. and their blood sugars, instead of being through super elevated <laughs> and through the roof, the, the approach of right quelling inflammation allows your body to function the right way. Um, and they're able to get off their, their diabetic drugs. Wow. I mean, that's more or less, it's the power of food as medicine. I mean, it really does work. Wow. Back to self-regulation, which is where we all should be in the first place. Yes. Well, so how did you get interested in becoming a coach? Yeah, so I mean, my kind of life has been um, around um, sciences and food um, through, throughout my career. So I'm a formally trained French chef. Um, I'm a product, I, I led a, a large scale product development teams um, for a company which is now part of Tyson Foods. And last job I worked for is, um, uh, I worked for McCormick and Company leading a product development team there and got to the point where it was really kind of this really intriguing kind of scenario of really understanding food again, like the back of my hand, but it really got to the point going through my own health journey um, and issues myself. I had to, everything I kind of explained before <laughs> I've had, I've been there. You are I've, your own success I, story. <laughs> I've, I've had digestive issues. I've had cognitive issues. I've had issues with my sleep. Um, about nine years ago, 10 years ago, I started working with a chiropractor who was a functional medicine practitioner. And he was able to really introduce me really, when you feed your body the right food and nutrition, you can learn to thrive and heal. And I kind of just went on the journey working with him and several other like well-known practitioners um, and just seeing the power. I've been able to lose 30, 35 pounds and I've been able to keep it off for five, six years. Um, and it's really just gotten to the point where it, that, that part became more of a passion for me than the job that I had, although I love what I did. It's just really looking at um, doing what's best for people in terms of teaching them how to eat, what to eat, um, and, and in the right manner. And you can see how it can impact and have, have, have it heal your body. It's like the most unbelievable thing you can do, but really just... I was at a point in my life, it's like, okay, what do I want to do next? And here I am. And it's been the best thing I've ever done. And I'm really happy I did it. Yeah. Well, clearly you're passionate about it. So you can help people worldwide, nationwide through the power of the internet. Yep. But, but we're here in Roland Park. It's gorgeous. Why locate here? In Roland Park. So sort of what I said before, so I was my last job, I worked for McCormick and Company. So um, I'm from Phil, my wife and I and my son, we're from Philadelphia. And just to get the move down here for work, um, we moved down here and did a lot of like research and looking around Baltimore and just fell in love with Rowan Park. It's just the most beautiful place um, you could ever find. Just really like wonderful sense of community, great people. Um, you're in the, it's, in the city proper, but you're, you're in the suburbs and our backyard, <laughs> it's the country. <laughs> I mean, you really couldn't ask for a better place. Great architecture. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank sure, you. Thank you, Leah. It was appreciate very educational it. and I learned a lot. Yeah. This is Boots in Baltimore. Have a great day.